My levels, my levels is good. Yo. Alright, no fucking around. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today, we are reacting to The Last of Us Part 2 State of Play for the PS4. Now, just to get ahead of everything, Sony did the right thing. They said, yo, we're not talking about shit about the PS5. We're not talking about nothing about the PS5. So, kudos on Sony. Letting us know out the gate. Don't get your hypes up for anything going into the PS5. Leaks, though. We got something for that ass next week. Let's go. The Last of Us Part 2. Stay to play. Here we go. I'm hyped. I'm going to get the game anyway. I'm going to play through the game anyway. I'm attached to that story. I'm hyped for the game. This can't really change my mood on it, but let's see. Let's see. Regular PS4 sound. They only did it with the Final Fantasy where they added that sound. I think they did it for uh, Resident Evil 3 reveal. I could be wrong. Nudity. Sexual content. Strong language. Stay to play. We getting some nudity in it? We getting some titties in this in this in this state of play? Things were different. No. I wish things were different. Yes. Same. Really? Woo! I got blood on my boot. I think we've seen this trailer. Please stop. This is the gameplay trailer, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god. I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart trespass, we'll be leaving Jackson Kill on sight! So they just get to oh my god us. hanging people how'd you find us by killing everybody you can't stop this that's how oh my god i want what you want no you don't but not at any cost take that arrow Yo, the look on her face is like, <laughs> we get through some shit. Again, these are fucking expressions. It's crazy, man. Yes, you do. I don't know what, but. The expressions in this game, man. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Yep. I wonder who that who is saying that we could have killed him. Vice President of Naughty Dog and the director of The Last of Us Part Two. What's up, Neil? We're just a few weeks away from launch on June nineteenth, when the game will finally be in your hands. Yeah, can't wait. Long, and we're yes. extremely grateful for your patience, Don't especially worry. now in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. <laughs> we hope you're all taking care of yourselves and that you your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different. Something we've never done before. What? Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part Two. Okay. Including new details about the gameplay experience and story. Okay. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never-before-seen, lengthy gameplay sequence. I definitely want to stick around for that. I definitely do. I'm scared. Do I want to see it and just walk into the game blind, or do I want? I want to see this. I want to see it. I want to see it. I have to. I'm supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. Hey, we're actually gonna make a cure. Oh, this is new. They had to kill her. It would kill her. 
The Last of Us Part 2 picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Okay. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Okay. Scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate... <laughs> Hit the blood! <laughs> yeah, let's go! Ellie out here getting high. This piece is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world. What is this event? And justice. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country, previously unexplored in The Last of Us. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered Ooh. in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Ooh. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Okay. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive form of Seattle, Seattle, okay. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. The city exhibits drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover oh, new areas, okay. resources, and side narratives. Kind of like um, Uncharted, okay. Also create new strategic considerations in combat, whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. Let's fucking go, bro. The Last of Us Part Two features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Horseback riding will allow Ellie to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Wait, some we're gonna have so some. That a boat is required to navigate them. Wait, we're gonna have like semi-open worlds. The, world the Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged her, she must face the many threats of this unknown city. Oh! In the wake of the pandemic and the fall of the dogs, man. Seattle has become a war zone where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. And here comes little ass Ellie. Is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise Washington. known as the WLF. The WLF <laughs> are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. What? Oh my god. Let's go. Don't fuck with them already! On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called religious. the Seraphites. Oh my god. The scars. These motherfuckers. The self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more silent weapons like bows and arrows. Oh Flip my god. Look her wings. Oh yeah, this was that trailer that we seen that didn't make no fucking sense. But beyond this conflict among survivors, the threat now it that kinda does. brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. Yep. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers yep. and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part 2 introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, Shamblers? heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustule, a 
Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud. I was gonna say, didn't we have these before? The, most the, terrifying, the giant ones? New forms of infected? We'll have to wait until you play the game for yourself. Oh, <laughs> okay. They're not revealing everything. Overcoming these I want to see dog infected. Consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment. Talking about dogs. To your advantage. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you, even while in cover. You think this guy's connected? Oh my they can pick God. up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving and cause distractions to avoid detection. They could be hiding anywhere. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover you, even in grass. When Ellie is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. You can also break class or crawl okay. through tight spaces to find new paths tight or areas spaces. to evade oh, your enemies. Let's go. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and reestablish stealth to regain the advantage. If you absolutely oh. have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile than for enemies. Let's go! And quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents <laughs> Yo. different weapons and mastering the time. Yes, Ellie, let's go! Yes! Oh, look at her, yo! You can use throw so proud! <laughs> to stun enemies uh huh. Killing blow. Jesus Christ! Uh! On the using them as a shield. Protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Woo! Oh my god! Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environment. Yes! And meaningfully help you in combat encounters. Yes! Let's fucking go! Yes! That is fucking dope. Let's fucking go, man. I can't- Yes! This is what I- Woo! It's, it's like a two-player experience without Between two the players. Human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Please, they fight or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. That is so fucking dope. Let's fucking go, man. Yo, that is. Yo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I fucking love it. That's a. Goals to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems that give you greater control outdoors, and influence sports. over your journey. What the fuck is that? As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, oh, weapon, okay. and player upgrades, upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. Yeah, they kept the menu These looking skills and upgrade like manuals cater to a variety of play styles. The same. And the choices you make will create your own distinct <laughs> cool. experience. Not complaining. So, we also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new Ooh. workbench system. Scavenge for parts. To modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized Put and become part of your character. Scope. Let's go, bro. Let's go. That is fucking dope, bro. Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients. No, on the dog. Which can be crafted into a wide range. <laughs> Don't of hit the dog. Defensive items. Like proximity mines, explosive arrows, pistol suppressors, and more. Crystals. Are you gonna put a potato on your shit? <laughs> Pop him in the head. Come on, please. Oh, uh, with the arrow. Ooh, explosive arrows. Let's go. Immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. Oh my 
God, this first trailer. Yes. As we've said before, this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. Until then, here's an extended sequence of never before seen game. Let's go! Never before seen gameplay. Where are we? All we got is the bow, probably early game. She can swim! I just noticed that. I was about to say, yo, she can fucking swim. Okay. Did you find her yet? Shh. Oh. They know she's there. Isaac? Escape. The fuck are they talking about? Oh, let's say talking about somebody else. They're not talking about Ali. She's like escaped. Oh, somebody else escaped. Oh my god, this level of fucking like shit hitting in the environment is gonna take me mad long to find out where the fuck I gotta go. But I'm, I'm with. Oh, there's somebody there! I'm with it 100%. And they don't hear the fucking water? Oh, they got headphones on! Yeah, bitch, you made the wrong decision. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> look at oh, <laughs> yo, you made the wrong decision, mama. Pick up the Vita, pick up the Vita, pick up the Vita. Oh, pick up the gun. Let's go. Yeah. Soldier, it makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure, I'll keep that in mind. Fuck, sounds like scars are getting closer. But that's our guys executing those freaks. Hey, did you hear about the that Isaac wants us to retake all of downtown? I heard we might take the fight to them. <laughs> no way, not after what went down last time. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. That's what I heard. All right, calm down. Oh, still self killed him. I dig it though. Bye bye. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Watch out, somebody could be up here. Oh, the doggy. Oh no, they're gonna kill the doggy. Oh man. The dog is crying. Yo. Am 
I ready for I'm so ready for this. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Oh, bye. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> bye bye. Uh oh. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Ellie. Let's fucking go. Bang. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, every fucking kill feels like. You know what I'm saying? It feels super heavy. Oh my god, buddy. I'll go check it out. I got you covered. Oh shit. Gotcha, you bitch. I want her to swing on somebody with that. Yeah. Bang. There we go. That's my favorite shit to do in The Last of Us Part 1. Is to put the fucking... Yep. Put the fucking um, blades on the like, bat or something. And just... It's, oh, it's locked. Is that like a ship door, or you just gotta keep fucking with it? That is fucking dope. Let's fucking go. Damn it! Find another way off. Let's go. Keep it going. Show us more. Ew! Oh, there's infected up there. Where are we at? In the hospital? That you, Nora? <laughs> oh, that's on. Oh, today is a good day. Yeah. What the fuck was Abby here? I'm not stupid. You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora. I'm not going down for her, man. Nora. Don't scream. Put that shit down. You remember me? Of course. Yeah. You remember me. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, boy. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. Oh, it just this shit is so close. It's so close. It's so close. I can taste it. I can taste it. We don't got nothing else. This is it. This shit was perfect. This shit, this game is too close to being in our hands for me to feel not excited, not on the edge of my seat watching gameplay. And that's exactly what I felt. Oh my. Ooh. 
I want it. I want it. I want it. And I want it. Please, 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 please. I want it. I think, let me take these off. I think the um, presentation of the whole state of play as a whole, perfect. Exactly what we need, especially after the last state of play that did the, um, what was it? The Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima is probably, I think is, is after The Last of Us 2 comes out. And it was good to get the Ghost of Tsushima digested, feel good on that. But The Last of Us 2 is about to come out. Now we get this right before we get that game. And then we get reminded again about Ghost after. Perfect way, perfect rollout to me. I can't fucking wait. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. There's nothing less to say. I don't want to keep this video too long because it is a fucking 20 minute for the, the, um, the state of play. I don't want to extend it too long. But Jesus fucking Christ, I can't wait for this game. Let me know your thoughts on the state of play, obviously, in the comment section below. I said that the Ghost of the Shima state of play was the best state of play that we ever seen. I'm going to have to agree that it is after this. This state of play was great. That Ghost of Tsushima one was a little bit better. And granted, because we don't know that much of Ghost of Tsushima, everything new that we've seen there felt new. While the stuff in The Last of Us 2, it's The Last of Us Part 1, mixed with a little bit of what we got as far as a Naughty Dog game for Uncharted 4. So you put The Last of Us in that big-ass pot of Uncharted 4. You stretch it on top. You know, you make it The Last of Us. And then you probably push those boundaries tenfold. And you got The Last of Us Part 2. And again, I, I don't know what else <laughs> Naughty Dog needs to do to sell people in this game. Because they got us. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you going to be one of those people that has been picking up The Last of Us day one? I am. I'm going to be sharing my playthrough, my first experience, my first reaction playthrough on this channel. Again, if you hype for that. Look out for those videos. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this state of play. Peace. I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out. So we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.